as also Christ is head of the church and he is the savior of the body. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Amen? Amen. Now Ephesians provides the guidelines for a strong Christian family. But it starts with the husband. And as Jesus was head of the church, the church then was subject to him. So shall the wives be subject to their husbands. The wives be there to support your husband. As one. Is there some particular reason you want to draw attention to yourself in this situation? I can't help it, Mom. What am I to tell your father this time? The food poisoning excuse isn't working. I care less what you tell that bastard. Do not talk about your father that way again. He didn't do this to you, that boy did. And you were taking full advantage of the fact that I'm not telling your father, who, by the way, is leading a church growing in numbers and popularity by the week. Go ahead and tell Ms. Perfect Emily is pregnant in front of the entire church, Rebecca. That boy doesn't know where we're going, does he? Well, we need this and him to go away quietly. Mm. Excuse me, is she okay? Oh yes, she's fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I think the milk that I used to make her breakfast was bad. You know how that can happen. Have a blessed day. Uh, you know, she could have salmonella poisoning. Make sure she drinks lots of water and maybe snip the milk next time. Oh, how considerate of you. I'll keep that in mind. And seeing as though we're being considerate, you better scurry along so you're not forced to socialize with the rest of us. Always a pleasure, ma'am. Missed you at church. You're still not feeling well? Yeah, I think just something I ate is all. Really? You know, I ran into the pastor's wife. Her daughter got some kind of stomach bug too or something like that. Must be something going around. Well, who knows what it is with that family, right? <laughs> that man's probably got them eating pages out of the Bible. Really, Dad? Seriously, though. We need to find another church. It's getting harder and harder for me to not bust out laughing. I don't know why we even go. <laughs> what? I can think of a better way to spend six hours a month than being surrounded by a bunch of hypocrites. Speaking of which, you think you can tell your ex-wife to stop pestering me? Hey, now. She just wants to spend time with her son. Are you serious? She had 14 years to see me. I'm not interested. What, are her other three children not enough to occupy her time? Oh, wait, that's right. She doesn't have custody of them either. The typically great dame was... Mom! Don't even think about it, young lady. I mean, really, we talked about this. He is not to know. He has the right to know. This isn't fair. Don't you dare proceed to tell me what is fair. Were you thinking about how fair it would be to our family to bring a bastard into this house? Into our church? I love him, Rebecca. And I know he loves me. The only thing that he loves about you, child, is what you have between your legs. Do you honestly think that a 16-year-old boy it's gonna love you or help you in 10 years? 
How dare you act like you give a rat's ass about this boy's future or mine. All you care about is what all the people in church will think about you. Now you tell me, mother, when you're at the pearly white gates, what will you say? Oh, I made a decision I can live with? Really, Mom? You're losing it. Shut up and come on. I'm praying for you. You're gonna regret this. You're making a mistake. Take it from here, and we'll let you know when she's in recovery, okay? And we're gonna have to ask you to leave now. Thank you. You're welcome. This will all be over soon. It'll never be over. Patient is ready. Here's a minor child we sent for the mother. She's coming back. So she just sign that. Got you that time. <laughs> yeah, you did. Did you see that push at the end, though? Uh-huh. But you didn't think the old man had it in him, did you? No. <sighs> Dad, is there anything I could do that would lead you to never forgive me? No, of course not. <laughs> Wait. What did you do that needs forgiveness? I need to know that you'll love me no matter what I've done. What's this about? The, please, this is important. I would lay down my life for you, Jonathan. But tell me what's going on. I, I got a girl pregnant. Wow. Okay. Not what I was expecting. That. I love her more than anything in the world. I can do this with her. I want to be a father to my child. I need to know that this is a decision that you can live with, Jonathan. Look, I will support you and the child and the girl, no matter what. But this is a huge responsibility. Right now, I just need more information. Who is she? How far along is she? Do her parents even know? See, that's just it. Her mom knows. We told her together and it didn't go well. Dad, she kicked me out of the house. She's keeping us apart. It's been over two weeks since I've seen or spoken with her. I'm afraid that her mom's gonna make her do something that she's not comfortable doing. I'm scared. Oh. I'll, I'll call the family and I'll talk to the mother, okay? But it would help me if you would let me into your life. Tell me who you're dating. Out of respect to her, her crazy family doesn't even allow her to date. Period. You're gonna have to tell me something, Jonathan. Who's her father? Her father is Pastor Witten. Pastor Witten? 
Yes. James Witten from our church. Yes, yes, from our church. <laughs> Thank you for a wonderful son. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hello, little girl. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. God bless. Pastor Wynn? Jacob, right? That's right. You're always long gone when worship concludes. I never get a chance to say hello. Yeah, well, I'm here today. Is something troubling you? Pastor, you and I need to talk. That's very important. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Your daughter, Emily, and my son, Jonathan, have been seeing each other in secret for a while. Pastor, your daughter got pregnant. I'm a doctor. I run an abortion clinic downtown. Children are a gift from God. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Psalms 27, verse 3. God is life. And you have taken away life. You have taken away God. The devil has reared his ugly head here tonight. He is amongst us. He has made his presence in the womb of my baby girl and has ripped the very life in God's image. Gone! Dead and gone. God has created has been extinguished by these two sinners. The devil has taken my baby girl and has turned her into a whore! Never touch my son again. Crazy son of a bitch. Go. I'm not done with him. You shut the hell up. My God is a God of justice, Dr. Lovett. Go home, okay? Go straight home. I will close my eyes to you. And though you pray the more, I will not listen! Your hands are full of blood! Dad. Dad. Oh my god. Dad. Oh my god, Dad. How we go? Butterflies and children. 
gonna be okay, Dad. It's gonna be okay. Christ who has called you. Do so. You can just lead you to the same in your heart one more time 